I can't believe this nightmare is actually happening. I can't believe it. I should have been prepared for it. I should have seen it coming. I know what Clark is. All of the warning signs were there. Why? Why did I refuse to see them? Mom, I wish there was something I could do or say. I... There's not. I've lost it. My marriage? My baby's lost his father, and if what Dollar says is true, then when Clark finally does decide to dump us and run off with Christian Forrester, he takes half of this place with him. It's as simple and obvious and horrible as that. Well, I don't want to give you any false hopes, but I mean, there is the chance that Darla could be wrong. You really believe that, Macy? No, I don't. God, face I knew he never loved me. I thought he cared about me. He doesn't. Macy, I don't even think he cares about the baby. There's only one person Clark Garrison has ever loved or ever will love. And that's Clark Garrison. be long now, Kristen. Until I'm a very wealthy man. <laughs> Come in. Mr. Garrison. You must be Jack, the new accountant here at Spectra. Yes, I am, sir. Did you get that information together that I requested? Got it right here. Well, good. Let's see it. Sure. I want to find out exactly how much Spectra Garrison is worth. Determining a company's worth can be done several different ways. Go on. Well, first you'd look at the yearly profits, gross and net. Now, last year, your gross profit was $7.8 million. What was the net? $2.4 million. I think we'd be making a little bit more than that. Well, actually, you are. Now, your Garrison original line works on a higher markup, so your profit percentage is greater. That's what I thought big source of the profits around here. Well, actually, the lower end material moves on a greater volume, so they kind of balance out rather evenly. OK, fine. Let's cut to the chase. How much is this place worth, lock, stock, and barrel? All right, using a conservative price measuring multiple between six and seven, and considering that the average company is worth twice what its yearly gross. What's the figure? $16.8 million. It's a lot of money. Now remember, again, I am computing this very conservatively. I didn't realize this place was worth that much. Well, it's nice to know we're doing so well. Yes. Thank you, Jack. Sure. If you need anything else, please don't hesitate to call. Harrison. Bye. Sixteen point eight million dollars. Ah. Half of that is $8.4 million. Oh, baby, you're the greatest. We're going down the home stretch on the way to the winner's circle. <laughs> Sally, well, she just had to go out to pasture. And Saul and Darla, off to the glue factory. It's almost time. I can't afford to make any mistakes. It's true, you know. Sure about Clark. Something missing in him. He doesn't care about anybody but himself. He never has. He never will. Mom, look. It's time for you to start thinking about yourself. You deserve it. 
You know, you need to make a fresh start. I know. It's too bad Clark is getting half the company, but... That's the part that's driving me crazy. Don't you see? I know I can't make him love me. I know I can't make him a decent human being, but I know there's a way to save this company from him if I could just find the way. Now, Marvin says, legally, huh? We've got to prove infidelity. Right. Otherwise, he does have a right to walk out of here with half of what I spent my entire life building up. But he won't cheat, Macy, not now. No, no, not him. He's going to be on his very best behavior. I'm afraid you're right, Mom. Clark would not risk seeing Kristen now. Not until he's officially made his deadline, but it'll probably oh. sprint right into her arms. What, do you think he'll waste a minute? With sympathy for me or the baby? Oh, no, not him. No, he's gonna go to her immediately, and he's gonna leave me here to cle Wait a minute. Oh, Messy, wait a minute. Of course. Of course. Why didn't I think of this before? Think of what? That's it. That's the answer. Now, what are you talking about? Well, Maisie, I've just come up with a brilliant plan. Maisie, I got an idea. You do? Oh, yeah, you're damn right I do. So, Darla, get in here on the double. Sally, what is it? I was just on my way to Clark's office to get that rat a piece of my mind. You don't have any to spare. I'll go. Mm -hmm. It's time we had a talk, man, to rat. Wait a minute, Saul. If what I got in mind works out, that may not be necessary. Come on, come on, please tell us what you're thinking. I am thinking that we have been together a long time. And we've been through some very rough times together, too. And we have weathered every single one of those times because we stood and we fought together. Now, this may be the roughest time of all. And I am going to need your help like I never have before. What can we do? Stay with me, son. First... Darla, I want you to reschedule all of Clark's appointments for tomorrow. Make them all one hour earlier. You got that? Yeah, yeah, sure. But, but what am I going to tell Clark? Nothing. Tell him nothing. Mom, what is all this about? All this is about saving this company. All right. Now, Darla, you cover phase one, right? Now, for the rest of this to come off, I'm going to need your total cooperation. It ain't going to be easy. But if we pull it off, I think it'll solve everything. I'll do anything except murder. And make that including murder if this is a solution. I don't think it'll be necessary, but thanks anyway, Saul. So. Now, the first thing you all have to remember is you have to behave completely natural around Clark. This is essential. He mustn't know that we're on. What's going on here? Why are you having a meeting without me? Darling, we weren't having a meeting without you. No, of course not. We were just in here talking to Sally about little Clark. Oh, yeah, yeah. We were, um, planning his birthday party. <laughs> his birthday is not for months. We just want to be prepared, Clark. Well, don't you think this is something that Sally and I should prepare? It's not something you should work on right now anyway. You're right, Don. You're absolutely right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, Sally. I'm sorry, uh... I was a little harsh right there. It, you know what my boy means to me. Yes, I believe I do. Anyway, I just stopped by to give you something. Uh, if we could be alone for a moment. <laughs> Darling, anything you want to do or say, you can do it in front of them. This is our family. I want them to see what a wonderful husband I have. That's what you want? I've been thinking a lot about our anniversary. I'm sure you have. And I just want to express how great everything is. I think we make one hell of a team. Do you, Don? Yes. I do. Happy anniversary. Oh, 
darling, it's lovely. Read the inscription. Team Garrison. I just thought a team like us needed an emblem. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, what do you think, huh? Pretty flashy, huh? One of a kind. Just like you, right, Clark? You got it. I'm going to get back to work. I suggest all of you do the same. He's one of a kind, all right. I won't say what kind. being a team when he's, he's just about ready to dump you. How can he do that? Because he's a liar, Darla, a cheat. You okay, Mom? Don't let him tear you up, Sally. I won't. I know this is no time to be emotional. He's made a fool of me for two years. So, I am not going to cry about it. I'm not going to get mad. I'm gonna get even. Yeah, so I'll go. Mom, I'm still not quite sure what you're planning to do. I'll tell you one thing, darling. Tomorrow is gonna be a day that will live in infamy at Spectra Garrison. I have come up with a plan that cannot miss. I have got a plan that will not miss. <laughs> <laughs>